Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova again, and today I have the TVA 2020 Toxic Vapor Analyzer. I've done a video on this previously, but today I've got the enhanced probe option that goes with this uh, TVA 2020. In a previous video I showed the, uh, the straight sample tube, uh, which doesn't have any electronics or display on it, but this is the, uh, this is the enhanced probe that you can get with the TVA 2020. And it has a sample tip right there. And there's up in the side of the sample probe, there's a sample filter which you can take apart. And I'll show that later. Uh, you see the handle assembly. Very robust. And much easier to operate with this unit when you've got this in a, in a backpack. Uh, you can just simply have this out in front of you and uh, look at the readings and do a few other things which I'll show you here in a bit as well. So on this unit it has a menu, select, and a backlight button. There's just three buttons, that's it, on this uh, Enhanced Pro. Very simple to operate. And the way it connects to the TVA 2020 is on the side of this TVA 2020 there's, a electrical, there's an electrical connection port and the sample tube port for the uh, gas sample. And if you look at the connectors on the TVA 2020, the sample tube port is just a hollow tube here, and you can see there's just the uh, quick connect jack right there. And that just pops onto the, uh, the sample tube port, snaps into, snaps into place, very simple. To take it off, there's a little push clip. If you push in on that clip and just pull up, it easily comes off again. So you can just snap that back on. The electrical connection, you can see the pins on here and it has to be lined up the right way before you push down on this electrical connector and the way they tell you that you've got it lined up properly is there's a little red dot on the side of this connector there it is this little red dot will line up with the little red dot on the connector right there so as long as you've got those two red dots lined up you just simply push down on the side of, on the top and it snaps into place and very easy to take off there's you just grab both sides of this jack and pull up and it's it's got a it's got a spring loaded connector on there so to put it back on you just simply line up the red dots and push back down again to get it to seat properly and that's all there is to connect the enhanced sample probe Coming around the front of this unit, I'll just push the umbilical to the back out of the way. You can see the, uh, the display on this unit. So you can see this particular TVA 2020 is a dual detector. It has a PID, which is the photo ionization detector, and it has the FID, flame ionization detector. So this was a good unit because it has both. You can, ha you can measure organic or inorganic gases with this unit. So you can see right now it's reading around zero for the PID and about 6.2 for the FID. So the, so the FID is lit. There's the hydrogen cylinder at the top that is required to operate the FID. And you can see on the uh, enhanced display we have a number on there as well. So I can lay, from this point, I can lay this TVA 2020 down and I can work with my enhanced probe. So if you have the TVA 2020 on the backpack and you have this enhanced probe, it's great because you can just walk around and have this out in front of you, walking around. So you can see it has FID showing at the top. There's a select button in the middle. If I push that, I can toggle between FID and PID. So you can see that change. Now I'm looking at the PID data. If I push the select as FID and PID. So you can just quickly select between the two. There's a menu button right here. If I push the menu button, up comes a few choices to work with. There's the enter logging mode, ignite, other detector, background, and exit. So you can notice there's some brackets around the first line. Enter logging mode, there's a bracket on the left and the right, and that tells you that that's selected. So if I press menu again, I can toggle down to ignite, 
You can see those brackets follow. Other detector, and then a background, and then the word exit will get selected. So that's how you move through this menu, is just keep pressing the menu button to toggle between the different features on this uh, display. Back to logging mode. So to select logging mode, I'll push the select button right there. So if I push that, I've gone into the logging mode and it shows me PID tag. I can put a name on here. I can put valve one. And the way I do that is there's an alphanumeric display right here. I can put in valve VALVE one over one. I punch it in through this keypad and it will appear up here on this display. I can accept it or I can exit it. So if I accept it, I'll just push select. And then it'll say start log sampling. So if I, and it'll give me a choice to exit or you know, select it. If I wanted to exit, I would just simply press menu down to exit or go back up to start log sample. So if I hit enter select on that one, it's now logging. So I've got PID, I would have a tag name here if I had entered it. And what you can see down here is that it's counting down every five seconds and storing a sample. So the word store, four, three, two, one, store. So I've set it to store every five seconds, which means take a reading every five seconds and store it in the memory on this TVA 2020. You can set it for 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, whatever you want, one hour. Um, easily selectable, but done through the setup menu on this TVA 2020. So to get out of this, you can just simply hit select because I've got the word exit highlighted to stop logging. I hit menu to go over to exit, press my select button, and I'm back to the main menu again. So if I press menu again to go down to the word ignite, now I've highlighted the word ignite. And so if this is on your back and you're walking around and for whatever reason the FID flames out, you can push select on ignite and you can relight the FID on this unit. I can press menu again, go to other detector. I'm on the FID now. You see it changed. So if I press select again, it'll go back to PID. Press it again, goes to FID. If I go menu again, I'm now on background. I press select. And this screen, it says, it says sampling background, wait until stable. So it's, it's taking a background number that's sitting in ambient air, and it will zero that out. If I hit accept, it'll zero this out and create a zero offset of 5, 5.5. 5. If I don't want to do that, I press menu again, over to exit, select, and I'm back up to enter logging mode. So there's logging mode, down to ignite, other detector, background, and exit. So if I went up to, I missed that one, I'll go up to ignite again. So I've got the word ignite highlighted. So the FID is here. So if the FID had flamed out, I can just simply hit select ignite. <clears throat> and you can see it goes to minus 99 and all it's doing is firing up the glow plug again <clears throat> to uh, start the FID and it goes back to five again. So I know the FID is lit. It is reading. So that's just a quick way to relight the FID should this unit flame out so you don't have to take it off your back and press one run again to ignite the FID. You can do it remotely from this enhanced probe. So if I go all the way down to exit, right there, enter, and I'm back to the main display again. So that's the three buttons on the enhanced display. It's just menu select and there's a backlight button. And to select menu, you can turn it on. I can go back all the way down to exit. Select. And I'm back to the main screen again. And again, to choose between the FID reading or the PID. So if I want to switch to PID, I'll just push the select button and I'm in PID. And there's my reading. Back to FID. FID read. Very simple to operate this unit. Uh, what I'll show you is the, uh, the where the sample filter is. So right here you can actually grab this and actually take it off. Just hold it with one hand and unscrew this assembly. 
You can hear the filter falling out already. So that's what it looks like inside. It's just a straight hole, hole through the, the probe, the enhanced probe. But there is a uh, there is a sample filter right in there. You see it, and I can pop that out. And you can see there's just a straight tube hole. Goes right on through. It is hollow. Just can't get it lined up with the camera. And there's the filter. It's just so you can buy these in packs. It's just a particulate filter. Keep the dirt out of the uh, out of the probe and out of the instrument. And real easy to put back. Put back in. Just drop it back in there. And it's threaded. Just screw it back on. And you're all set. Good to go again. Good to go. Just screw it back. Tighten it up. And that's really it. So I'll just what I'll do is I'll zoom out just so you can see it clearly. That is the enhanced probe assembly option for the TVA 2020. You have the connections on the side, sample tube, electrical, and very easy to very easy to connect and operate. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you.